When you get caught up in success and everything, I mean, you're so preoccupied by the enormity of a career when it takes off like it did for us that you don't give enough thought to, well, what about the business of this? As far as the business, I really kept an eye on the business a lot more. Things were kind of inequitable. The first thing that kind of really resonated with me is here I was living in a thousand square foot rental house in uh, Studio City and, and Jimmy's up on a ranch and 3,000 acre ranch. Danny was always trying to tell us that, you know, we need to take a look at the contracts. We need to do this. Let's look at the contracts. We better start looking at the contracts. Relax. Let them do that stuff. We'll do ours. Finally got the band to listen and, and we had the books audited and lo and behold, I mean, the difference, the difference in money was staggering. He was taking 100% of the publishing. Millions of dollars had been going to the wrong place. Millions of dollars. It wasn't like anything was being stolen because we signed these terrible contracts in the very beginning of our careers with, with, with Jimmy. I understood why he developed the company that way. And it was basically for everybody's protection. But he was a little smarter than everybody else. Jimmy knew things about the business that we didn't know. And you would have thought that he would hip us to that. But he didn't really. We took it to task and, and re renegotiated. And he had 51% uh, by himself of our entire career. And we had 49% we had split seven ways. So there's quite a difference, especially after Uncle Sam comes in and grabs half. I think we'd gone as far as we were gonna be able to go with him. But I just think the time was up with, with that relationship and we had to move on. I never took a penny from anybody. And I don't think he could have found a team that was any more honest than the team that he had built. And in my opinion, he destroyed it. <laughs> 